Hey everybody, welcome back to the Randall Mill. My name is of course Adam Nixon and today we are going to be doing a festival lineup tier list. It's not running in Leeds content again, but I'm really trying to hold off all of my good video ideas for nearer the festival. I think nearer the festival, I think it would be great to do essentials videos, secret set predictions. I'm hoping for another, I've done a bit of prediction who else could be added to the lineup. So I'm hoping we get a new lineup announcement. I won't have to keep doing predictions who's going to be added because hopefully we can talk about who's been added this month ready for august so yeah let's see we're going to be doing tier list on festival lineups today uh, i'll show on screen what festival lineup i'm looking at and then show on screen what tier list i'm going to put in this first time i've done one of these so if it's a bit shaky let me know any other video ideas for lineups and tiers and anything any video you want to see let me know in the comments down below okay so the first one is the reading and leeds lineup and to be honest with you i am going to put that straight into unreal I think it is an absolutely amazing lineup. There is not many lineups out there that I love so many acts from. All the headliners are amazing. I think I'm interested in seeing every single one of the headliners. I mean, I'm basically interested in every single subheadliner. So yeah, for me, it couldn't be better really for the music I'm into and for the very variety of music they have. So yeah, I really like Reading and Leeds and it's going straight into Unreal. For the next one, the categories we've got unreal, good, decent, eh, wouldn't go, and awful. So yeah, the next one is Why Not Festival. Okay, so I pro previously put Why Not Festival on, done a video of Why Not Festival. I ex went through the lineup, I said I really liked it, I like the Circle Waves on the Thursday, I like Bombay Basket Club, I like Blossoms, I like DMAs. I think it's a good lineup, I think some of the lower down acts are good with your Sandara Karma, Pale Wave, Sherlock's, the Lathams. Yeah, I think it's a good lineup. I wouldn't put it in Unreal, and I think it's a bit harsh to put it in Decent, so I'm going to go with good. Okay, I'm going to go now onto the download pilot. I'm not going to mention about 2022's lineup, I'm just going to st stick on with the pilot because we're going to go through the 2021 lineups. This, of course, is only happening next weekend. So, not this weekend, this video uploads, but the weekend after. And yes, yeah, so we've got Frank Carr on the Rattle Rattle Snakes, we've got Neck Deep, we've got Boston Manor, we've got Hot Milk, we've got Enter Shikari while she sleeps, Creeper. To Atlantic, Yonaka, Bullet for My Valentine, Frank Turner on the Seeping Souls, Skin Dread. I'm going to put this into Decent. It's not particularly my type of music. To be honest, if it was like the 2022 lineup, I would put that in. Eh, wouldn't go. But uh, Download Pilot, I did want to go. I wouldn't be able to get it quite right with work and stuff, so I don't think it would really been possible for me to go because I do work a part-time job and I can't get every weekend off for every festival there is. So I'm going to put the download pilot into decent. Okay, so the next lineup is This Is Tomorrow. We went over this uh, last video, I think, and I spoke about the, my thoughts on this lineup. Dermot Candy shouldn't be a headliner, but Blossoms, Bugsy Malone, Mahalia, Inhaler, Holly Humberston, and the Lathams, great day. The Sunday, Sam Fender, Fontaine CC, Power Waves, Good Day, Billy No Mates, Nadine Shah, I don't know how to pronounce that, I don't know who that is. And Saturday, Jerry Cinnamon, The Cooks, Tom Water, Sir, Tom Water, Tom Walker, Circle Waves, Seagulls, The Snuts. I can't get over that day, I think that day's amazing, and for that reason, for, that's why I left it last, for that reason, This Is Tomorrow is going into Unreal. <laughs> I can already tell that I'm going to get a lot of mixed opinions on there so please guys do tell me your opinions on it okay so next up is neighborhood weekender with headliners such as jerry cinnamon james catfish and the bottleman with other acts such as circle wave sam fender shed seven pale waves easy life the sherlocks the wombats sandara karma tom walker okay i like this i like this a lot um i think this is a nice thing is, this year, we've got a lot of repeated acts. We've got Sam Fender at almost every festival. We've got Joe Cinnamon at a lot of festivals. We've got Catfish at quite a few festivals. It's difficult to then differentiate them between good, middle, bad, whatever. At the moment, I haven't put any in bad. Okay, I haven't. I don't know if I even will. Neighbourhood Weekender, for me, is going to go into... I think Neighbourhood Weekender, for me, goes into good. Joe Cinnamon, yes. Circle Waves, yes. Sam Fender, yes. Easy Life, yes. Big yes for Easy Life. Sherlock's yes. The Snuts, yes. Caption of the Bottom, yes. Wombats, yes. Miles, no. Uh, Sundar Akami, yes. Tom Walker, yes. Seagulls, yes. Inhaley, yes. Yes. Neighborhood Weekend for me is going into good. Let me know your thoughts. 
spoke about this previously on the channel as well. We're going to be talking about Boardmasters. Headliners such as Foles, Gorillas, Georgia Smith, other acts including Sam Fender, Mahalia, Laurel Kana, The Kooks, Blossoms, Slow Tie, Arlo Parks, Beba Doobie. There's a lot of good acts on here. For me, I will put this in decent. And you've got to remember that I'm going to put things into different categories depending on what type of festival it is. I think Ballbusters can do better than this. I think Foles and Gorillas, for certain people, that's a big eh. I think Gorillas is a great act. I would like to see Gorillas. Georgia Smith, not really a headliner. And Foles is a decent act. For me, Ballbusters goes into decent. And it's not. I'm not judging them just on the headliners either. I'm judging them on overall. Like if Reading had that lineup, it would go in probably like towards bad, wouldn't it? Not necessarily bad, but you know what I mean. I'm not gonna put like I've put this is tomorrow in the Unreal. This lineup's probably better, but for the type of festival and the variety and stuff, and yeah, I don't. I'm not really gonna explain it that way. Well. <laughs> but basically, this for me is gonna go into decent. When you guys do this, you'll actually find it quite difficult. If you do want to take part of this, let me know. I should be able to send you a link, and then you can tweet the page, the random mail, how yours turned out. Okay, so we're about halfway through now. We're going to go on to Victoria. Victoria is my local festival. It is the one that is I'm closest to. I probably live about 15 minutes away from Victoria's. So we're looking at Madness, The Kooks, Feeder, The Streets, Richard Ashcroft, Rang and Bowman, Craig David, Blossoms, The Lathams, who I love, you all know I love, Royal Blood, Nile Rogers, Fontaine's DC. <sighs> I'm going to put Victorious as the first one into, eh, wouldn't go. Oh, Royal Blood though. Oh, it's difficult, it's really difficult. No, I'm going to be harsh. I'm going to put in Air Wouldn't Go. I think Royal Blood is great. I think The Streets is good. The Kooks is okay as a second, as a sub headline of Rich Ashcroft, a bit air. Noel Rogers is a bit air. Rag and Bowman is a bit air. Craig David's a bit air. Blossoms is good. Yeah, it's going in Air Wouldn't Go. Victorious is the first one in Air Wouldn't Go. And that. That decision has made me want to bring Download Pilot down to Air Wouldn't Go. Because if I've put that down there, then I think that should be too. So, updated tier list is now going to be on screen. Don't forget with something like this is that it will change. Probably by the end, I might move some about, depending on like that. Make me think to bring Download Pilot down. Because if I wouldn't, if I'd prefer to go to Victorious, then I would Download Pilot. So, they should be in the same thing. Now, we're going to be talking about Transnet. Transmit one of those festivals that have had some of the best lineups I have seen in recent years with, with Stormzy, with Arctic Monkeys in the last few years. So for me, I think this year is quite a disappointment, but I do like the lineup. Cortinas, Ian Brown, Sam Fender again, Blossoms again, KSI, Young Bane, Inhaler, Little Sims, that's all on the same day. The Lathams, Holly Humberston, that's all on the same day. Berwin, oh, I like this. Liam Gallagher, AJ Tracy, Twin Atlantic, Primal Scream. Seagulls, Vistas, Becky Hill, the Chemical Brothers, Snow Patrol, Dermot Kennedy. Okay, that Sunday's a bit dead. Declan McKenna. Okay, I like that. I like that a lot. That Friday and Saturday is good. I think that's good. Especially the Friday. I like the Friday. Yeah, I like that. I am going to go for Transmit up to good. Okay, so only a few left. Uh, we're going to be talking about All Points East. And this is one that has about five different days. I don't have one poster for all the days. So I'm going to have to go through some of these posters. So we've got on the Monday. It's all going to be in a random order. Because I've just done it on Google Images. So on the Monday, on the bank holiday, August bank holiday. Same weekend as Reading and Leeds this is. On the Monday, we've got Foles, Bombay Bicycle Club. They're the main two. Right? We've got on the... I don't know what day this is. The Saturday. We've got Jamie XX, we've got Slow Tie, Cano, don't know who that is, I don't know who Tom Mish is either, sorry. Little Sims, Arlo Parks, okay. London Grammar, Georgia Smith, Loyal Kana, Celeste, Muramasa, Mahalia. For me, that's the best day, I think. Although that Bombay Bicycle Club and Falls, I agree, is a very good day too. So yeah, it's a bit all over the place, this festival, um, of how they do it, anyway. 
Yeah, I don't like it that much, but I like quite a few. I like Laura Carner, I like the Foles Day, I like the day with George Smith and Laura Carner, and I like the Mahalia Morimata Day. That could all be the same day, to be honest. Yeah, it is. I really like that day, actually. I don't think that's bad at all with Celeste either. So, for that reason, I'm going to put All Points East into Decent. And it's quite different as well. You don't get a lot of festivals. But we've seen, this makes you realise how many repeated acts are, and it'll make you guys realise how many festivals Liam Gallagher's at, how many festivals Sam Fender's at. So, I don't think it's a bad thing that we're doing this, and a bad thing to differentiate them all, because I think it's nice to see all these different acts that are a bit, these different festivals that have different acts and they're not all the same. Okay, so now we're going to be talking about the one I kind of slated in the last video and that is Latitude. Sorry, I get the lineups up. Well, that's what I'm typing. I type in, I get the screenshots and stuff. So, we're talking about Latitude. We've got Wolf Alice. Good booking, but not that exciting. Chemical Brothers. Good booking. Again, not that exciting. Bastille, I really like. I was excited by Bastille. I like Bastille. One Best of Club. Okay, not bad. Rudimental, bit dead. Cards Chiefs, bit dead. Mabel, bit dead. Rick Astley, bit dead. Declan McKenna, nice. Alpha Temperman, nice. Be Beaver Doobie, nice. Griff, nice. <sighs> Maisie Peters, okay. Bill Bailey. Seagull, nice. Fontaine's DC. Okay, I wouldn't go to Latitude, and I'm almost tempted to put Latitude into Awful. I'm going to do it. Latitude is our first awful. I was this was one of the festivals that I was thinking, all right, I'd actually quite like to go to this before the lineup was out. I saw the lineup and I was like, no. So yeah, I'm going to put. I, the thing is with this, it's like Wolf Alice. I really like. I'm looking forward to seeing at Reading. But as the headliner, who I've seen, who, I, who I'm going to see, but still who I've seen before, for me that goes into awful. It might it might be a bit harsh. But yeah, it goes into awful for me. Okay, so now we are talking about Slam Dunk. Slam Dunk is not my sort of music, as you guys know. However, one name does stick out, and that is Don Broco. I would put this into awful. I'm going to put it in wouldn't go, because it's not a bad lineup. People who love this sort of music will think probably it's a good lineup. I would put it in awful, because I don't like the music. But Don Broco makes me put into... No, I'm going to say... No. Don Broco, I really like, really like, like love Don Broco. So I'm gonna put that festival into wouldn't go because I wouldn't go. I don't like the lineup, but I like Don Broco, <laughs> um, and it's not a bad lineup, so to speak. I wouldn't know if it's a bad lineup. I'm not. I literally probably recognise about two names in that whole lineup. So yeah, for me, it would go into awful, but I like Don Broco, and I don't know enough to know if it's a bad lineup. So. Wouldn't go for Slam Dunk. Okay, so Truck Festival has Bombay Bicycle Club, The Kooks, and Raw Blood headlining. Other names include Fontaine's DC, DMAs, Idol, Circle Waves, Pale Waves, Tom Walker, The Lathams, Blossoms, The Snuts, Sandara Karma, Little Sims, Arlo Park. I really like that lineup. I was almost tempted to get a day. I think I was tempted by the Friday because I liked Sandara Karma. Yeah, I was. The Sunday is really good because of Idols and Raw Blood, but. For me, I was going to get a Friday ticket because I wanted to see Bombay, Fontaines, Cirque Waves, the Lathams. I really like, love all them. Like, and uh, I would like to see Blossoms and the Snuts too, but that's the Thursday. A bit pointless to go just for the Thursday. So yeah, I was going to get a ticket to this festival, so I can't say I wouldn't go. And I will put this under nice headliners. Decent. It goes into decent. We now go on to our last festival, which is Tramlines. I know this video is really going to mix opinions people are going to wonder why i put this tomorrow in unreal i'm wondering why i put it in unreal at this point but i'm going to stick with my guns i thought that when i saw the lineup and this one is pretty good too so we're talking about tram lines now this is names such as the streets the kooks dmas pigeon detectives sophie ellis becks alfie templeman royal blood blossoms mahalia little sims the sherlock's the lathams um blocks richard ashcroft Really, not of a Yeah, it's not bad. Dizzy Rascal, Tom Walker, everything, everything. Sandara Karma, the Snuts. Again, doesn't it make you realise how many people have the same artist? Like, who's going to be doing the rounds next year? Because all of these are done the rounds this year. Like, you look down at the lower names, and it's the Holly Humberston, the Snuts, the Lathams, Blocks, all these names doing all the lower names at other festivals. Anyway, I like that lineup. 
I would put it on the very same territory as sort of why not and decent. I would bring why I'm gonna bring why not down to decent. And I actually probably prefer tram line, so I'm gonna put that up to good. Tram lines go still good. I've brought down why not into decent. This tomorrow and reading stays unreal. Do I bring truck up? I'm gonna bring truck up. Okay, we have our final, we have our tier list. So, to run you through from top to bottom, we're going to go bottom to top. We have, in awful, we have Latitude. In F, wouldn't go, we have the Download Pilot, we have Victorious, and we have Slam Dunk. In Decent, we have Boardmasters, Why Not, and All Points East. In Good, we have Neighbourhood Weekender, we have... Transmit, we have tram lines, and we have truck, and then in Unreal, we have This Is Tomorrow and Reading Festival. Why do This Is Tomorrow beats it? It's just because I like the variety, and I love that Saturday, and it's a Saturday that I would love to go to, so that is why it goes in Unreal, if you're confused. So that is my tier list of UK festival lineups this year. Let me know if you want me to do loads more. I could do all the same festivals but with abroad festivals. Let me know what you want to see. I could do tier list of the Reading Acts. Let me know. Okay, the headliners. I could do the headliners and subheadliners. So yeah, let me know what you want. I really enjoyed making this video. Slightly different for me. And I hope you guys did enjoy it. My name is, of course, been Adam Nixon. This has been The Random Wheel. Make sure you're following us on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok and look out for the festival circuit which is our podcast we do hope you guys did enjoy please hit subscribe i really appreciate it and yeah take care guys